I am back. Uchiha Kagami pushed open the gate in the yard, took off his shoes, and stepped on the wooden floor of the house. Today he is in a good mood. It has been a while since he has seen his close friend Shimura Danzo, and he still misses him very much, especially after hearing that he was hospitalized. After returning to the village, I suggested to my companions to visit Danzo together, and made an appointment with a group of people to go to the largest barbecue restaurant in Konoha to have a good meal when he was discharged from the hospital. The treat is naturally his treat, but the money is Danzo, who made him the richest among their group of Hokage guards. Thinking of this, he smiled unconsciously. The voice of what he said just now echoed in the empty living room, but there was no response. Did both father and mother go out? Usually they should be at home at this time. Glancing around a few times, just as he put the ninja knife on the knife holder, a familiar voice came from the side room, and he looked with a little surprise. Kagami, come here. He stepped forward and opened the door, and saw his father and mother looking at the teacups on the table with serious faces. The tea leaves in the cups were floating, as if representing their hearts at this moment. Father, mother, so you are at home, I went to cook. Uchiha Kagami sat down cross-legged easily, and as soon as he said hello, his mother got up with her head down, and walked towards the kitchen with small steps, looking at him strangely. Father, mother, she. Just as I was about to say something, the middle-aged man sitting opposite stopped me with his right hand. Kagami, to be honest, I didn't expect that your talent would be so strong, that you would become the number one genius of the young people of my Uchiha clan. Uchiha Kagami was sitting on the tatami mat, his eyes fell on his father's wrinkled resolute face, and he replied with a smile, it's actually nothing, father. Yes, I am young, but my father is already old. After hesitating for a moment, he said what he had been wanting to ask all along, father, are you hiding something from me? Is it so obvious? He paused slightly while making tea, and said with a wry smile. Fill the teacup in front of Uchiha Kagami with tea, and the clock in the room turns its gears with a beep. After a while, a slightly hoarse voice came from his throat. I don't really know if I should let you know, earlier, the clan elders sent someone over and let me inform you to go to Nanhi Shrine. Hearing this sentence, Jing nodded, and stood up indifferently. He was a frequent visitor there, and he thought it was a big deal. When Uchiha Kagami was about to leave, he who had been holding a teacup spoke abruptly. Wait a minute, Jing, this time the tone is different. Although I am not very strong, I can guess some of their thoughts. Everything is based on your own will. Uchiha Kagami's footsteps suddenly stopped at the entrance. You must know that your father is also a chunin, who has been active in the battlefield for most of his life. Not to mention anything else, he still has eyesight. He should have noticed something this time. The mood sank a little, and he strode towards the door again, but his steps became heavier. On the way to the shrine, he was greeted by Uchiha people from time to time. In the past, he would smile from the bottom of his heart, but now he just twitched the corners of his mouth and continued walking without stopping. Pushing open the heavy gate of the shrine, more than a dozen people with the highest Uchiha power sat inside. There you are, Kagami. Uchiha Sanming, who ranked first, knelt and sat on the futon with ease, in stark contrast to the stern-faced clan elders below. It has to be said that the power of the patriarch of the Uchiha clan is really small, and this time he was coerced by these clan elders to hold this meeting that he didn't want to have. Ever since he met Danzo that time, he knew in his heart that there are some things that they can't imagine. He knew the result a long time ago so he could be so calm. After Uchiha Kagami greeted them, he sat on the only vacant futon. A clan elder with a somewhat anxious temper spoke eagerly when he just sat down. Kagami, we have decided to recommend you to fight for the seat of the third Hokage in the future. When he opened his mouth, the whole shrine suddenly boiled. That's right, Senshu Tobarama will not be Hokage for many years. With the strength of all of our Uchiha clan, it will definitely be possible. Even Uchiha Kagami can be regarded as the heart that has been tempered several times on the battlefield, and he was shocked at this time. No. Where did you get the courage? Let me compete with that monster Shimura Danzo for Hokage's seat? Now everyone in the village does not know the name of his Danzo. If he fights against that Serutobi Hirazan, then he still has confidence. After all, he belonged to the second group of young people. If he had the support of the ethnic group, no matter what he said, he would try. But. Danzo's product, he is simply not comparable to himself. Sometimes you have to admit that the gap between people is bigger than dogs. He couldn't help turning his head to look at the patriarch who was in the upper position, and saw that he looked serious on the surface, but he looked at him with a teasing smile, shrugged slightly, and signaled that he had no choice. Most of the combat power of the Uchiha clan during the war was on the side of Union's defense line, 
and they did not really appreciate Donzo's resourcefulness and strength. Those elders in Muya village have only heard of it. For them, only that seed is worth their attention, and the rest are just clouds. Uchiha Kagami took a few deep breaths and thought for a while, so that these old men, who have lost touch with the times understand the current status of Danzo. After careful consideration, he said, Everyone, dear clan elders, maybe you don't know how powerful Shimura Danzo is now. One of the elders with a long beard twirled his beard lightly, and said indifferently, How powerful it can be, isn't it just a kid with no hair yet? His words also aroused the echo of the elders. No matter how powerful it is, is it as powerful as my Uchiha's kaleidoscope Sharingan? Now, my Uchiha elders still have two pairs of kaleidoscopes, and with the patriarchs, we already have three pairs. With such strength, it is more than enough to destroy a small country. At this time, the elder stood up, patted Uchiha Kagami on the shoulder, and said thoughtfully. Jing, you don't understand, some things depend on the family, just the small family of Shimura, why should we compare with us? The current Uchiha has just finished the battle, and the strength of the group has been improved after being tempered by blood and fire, plus some old people who have retired from the Warring States period. It can be said that this is definitely the peak of the Uchiha clan's strength after Madara left. There is even a faint momentum to compete with the Qianshu clan for the No. 1 clan in Konoha again. All of this gave them great confidence. Hokage's seat has been occupied by the Senju family for too long. Although they all belong to the Dove faction in the clan, they also think from their hearts that it is time for Uchiha to sit. They are also one of the two major families who established the village. The shrine fell into a silence where no one spoke, and everyone looked at him with scorching, expectant eyes, quietly waiting for the decision of the youngest Jonin in his clan. The Uchiha clan has been desperate for Hokage's seat. To be honest, he couldn't understand the desire of the family elders at all. Wouldn't it be nice to have a warm nest in such a peaceful Konoha? Does the village name matter? Regardless of whether Hokage is Senju or Uchiha, it is still called Konoha. Hokage is just the Hokage of the village, not a family. His own desire for power is extremely low, as long as it doesn't affect him or his family too much, he doesn't care much. Shimura Danzo also showed early on that his wisdom and dominance are far superior to those of his peers. Uchiha Kagami believes that Konoha will definitely move towards a stronger future under his hands. It was his intuition, and that intuition had proven him right countless times. I choose, master's choice is to not listen to you. The old people of the old era should stop worrying about the choices of us young people. Asterisk you guys. After imitating the trash talk that Danzo taught him, Uchiha Kagami only felt a burst of relief all over his body. Bastard. What are you talking about? You nasty brat. I eat more salt than you eat rice. They got up and walked towards the gate. Obviously, they were a little stunned by the sudden change of this usually gentle and elegant junior. After a short period of astonishment, they all opened their mouths and cursed loudly. The elder, who had been stroking his beard all the time, pulled out a few beards with his hands in a panic. Squeak. The thick gate of the shrine was pushed open from the inside out. Uchiha Kagami walked out immediately, with a relaxed expression, completely ignoring the scolding of the elders behind him. As his figure walked further and further away, no matter how angry they were, they could only swallow this breath. Because among the younger generation of the Uchiha clan, the only one who can compete with that Shimura Danzo in terms of talent is Uchiha Kagami. The 19-year-old Sanguyu Shalunyan elite Jonin, as long as there is no accident, with the accumulation of pupil power and an opportunity, he will definitely be able to break through the kaleidoscope at the age of 25. Opportunity is difficult to say, easy to say, as long as you use some means, then you don't need to be afraid of Senju Tobarama. They thought of the reincarnation of the filthy soil created between the thousand-handed doors, and if they got the first generation out, they couldn't help but shudder. Well, still can't beat it. But four pairs of kaleidoscopes can definitely make Uchiha surpass Senju and Hanada and become the No. 1. Clan in Konoha. If the parties are unwilling, they have nothing to do, no matter how they think about it, they just can't figure it out, that's Hokage's seat. So many people yearn for something, but he actually dismisses it. Isn't it just a Shimura Danzo? It's over if you mess with him, who does he think he is? Is it a thousand hand pillars? At the same time. The nearest Konoha is extremely lively, from top to bottom, everyone's face is filled with joyful smiles. The reason is very simple. All the Konoha ninjas who went out for the expedition have all returned to the village yesterday, and the most stubborn cloud ninja has also withdrawn from the border. The long-awaited dawn of peace shines on every corner of the village under the last verbal confrontation. 
most of the returned ninjas have combat achievements, and these military achievements can not only be exchanged for ninjutsu, but also for money. In other words, most people in Konoha now have a windfall in their hands. These reasons are crazily stimulating economic development, and those businessmen are smiling in the near future. Of course, the most rewarding thing is that we are watching the novel Danzo Sama while soaking in the hot spring. He has been laying the groundwork for a long time, and has more or less stepped in in various economic fields of the land of fire. Konoha is the top priority in his plan. Had he been willing, the economy of the entire fire nation would have stagnated for months due to his intervention. The Black Shadow Corps was also noticed by some people because it officially participated in Konoha's war against other ninja villages. At this time, they discovered that this mercenary group had already developed into a behemoth before they knew it, and they had acquired the title of the number one mercenary group in the ninja world. The guy who is known as one of the nine Black Shadow Generals has the strength of an elite Jonin. The elite Jonin is already an unquestionable high-level combat power in a village, it is unimaginable that a mercenary group hiding in the dark has nine such powerful ninjas. What about the so-called Holy Master? Shadow-level combat power. This guess made them feel chills, and it also excited some ambitious people. For example, some small country daimyos even sent people to contact them, asking the Shadow Corps to become their country's ninja village. Maybe, with this power, they can become the sixth largest ninja village in one fell swoop. All these requests were regrettably rejected by Danzo. Unfortunately, with the characteristics of the Shadow Corps, it is not suitable to walk on the bright side, otherwise. But the five great hidden villages feel a huge threat. You must know that they can have such a status, after all, it is because of their own strength, and now there is another person to share the small cake of the ninja world. It makes them feel very uncomfortable. Invariably chose to suppress the development of the Shadow Corps' power in their country, except for Konoha. But even Konoha, who stood on his side in the war, felt an unspeakable pressure at this moment, like a gnat in his throat. After all, this emerging underworld tycoon may use the land of fire as his home. As we all know, the kingdom of fire is under the protection of Konoha, which is undoubtedly challenging the majesty of Konoha, the number one ninja village. If it wasn't for Senju Tobarama, who had vaguely guessed that this mercenary group had something to do with his disciple, Danzo. He had already mobilized a large army to destroy it at the end of the war. The reason is simple. How can the place where the couch allows others to sleep soundly? Even if they had helped Konoha, he would brazenly act at the risk of others' incomprehension and scolding. This is Hokage's responsibility, and he will never allow such a large unstable factor to be active by his side. What? Is it my family? That's fine, but it's a pity that such a large force is not used. I'm sorry, Danzo, it seems that I want to take back what I said to cheat you the last time, let me cheat you again. Guaranteed by my integrity. This is definitely the last time. Danzo, who was soaking in the hot spring, sneezed suddenly, and put his hand into the steaming water suspiciously. It's strange, it's not cold, is it? Besides, with my own physical fitness, how could it be like this? Please, I'm a man who can crush big stones in his chest. I have a cold or something, it's impossible, okay. The sound of opera sounded again, and he put this little question behind him. Forget it, it's not a big deal after all, let's play music and dance. Sitting in front of the desk with Senju Tobarama, he rubbed his chin, silently making a promise that he didn't even believe in in his already dark heart. The pen in his hand twirled a bit, a flash of inspiration flashed in his mind, he pulled off the cap of the pen with his thumb, and sucked it from the ink bottle next to him. The flamboyant handwriting appeared in the blank document, and was constantly scribbled and altered by him. After a long time, Senju Tobarama looked at the plan in front of him and nodded in satisfaction. After closing it, he put on a red pen and wrote a big S on the cover. The confidentiality of the files is arranged from S to D. And this sign represents the top secret of Konoha village, and no one can read it without Hokage's warrant. At least he has to wait until he retires before he can let his stupid apprentice know that his respectable teacher cheated him. The next day, inside the Hokage building, Danzo, who was summoned by his teacher early in the morning, came to the office with sleepy eyes but all drowsiness was completely shocked by the huge message below and disappeared. Huh? Teacher, you want me to create another Anbu? His body jumped up from the sofa all of a sudden, and Danzo put his hands on the desk between the thousand hands, his face full of disbelief. Senju Tobarama suppressed a smile, and said with a straight face. Now Konoha's Anbu system has been learned by the major ninja villages, we must maintain the priority of the system. Besides, with the current situation, relying on Anbu alone is a bit overwhelming. 
Since the major ninja villages established their Anbu, Konoha's Anbu has encountered considerable obstacles in various infiltration, assassination and other operations. Even, many of Anbu's elites are forever buried in foreign countries, and each of these reasons has added to the pressure on Anbu, who was already under a lot of pressure. Now that the problem has arisen, it must be resolved. And the power of the leader of the Dark Army should not be too great, no matter how much I trust him as Hokage, it must be known that power affects people's hearts. Therefore, it is best for Anbu to maintain the current number of people. Then another violent institution needs to emerge. It just happens to be able to form a check and balance with the current Anbu, so that there will be no situation where one family dominates. Danzo, who holds the power of the Shadow Core, is the best choice. His own strength is not weak, his methods are black enough, and his forces are loyal to him. In addition, he is the vice captain of Anbu, no matter how he is chosen, he must be chosen. As for Serutobi Hirazan and Uchiha Kagami who were originally considered, all have more or less disadvantages. The former seems to be heroic, but in fact he is indecisive. Being decisive is a big taboo for politicians. He usually doesn't have any problems, but when he encounters major events, he can't do it. Although the latter's surname is Uchiha, he doesn't look like Uchiha at all. This is a good thing and a bad thing, and he is also an excellent choice to take over as the captain of the guard in the future. Then pick and choose, and Danzo meets all aspects. Then what is the name of the newly created department? And what should we do in terms of manpower? Although it was a bit unexpected for Danzo, no matter how you look at it, it is a good thing for him, and it also marks that he is advancing towards Konoha's power center. After Wei Wei thought about it, she agreed and asked the two questions he wanted to know the most. You think about the name yourself, and the staff allows you to go to Anbu to pick a few acquaintances. Hearing Danzo's question, Senshu Fajian wrote on the document and answered without raising his head. How many? Me? Hey, stop, stop, don't you still have one under your command? Seeing that this silly apprentice was acting good while getting the cheap, he put down the pen, interrupted Danzo's words loudly, and looked up at him. Danzo looked at his teacher's half-smiling eyes, and sighed in his heart. Could it be that this old fox discovered the relationship between the Sombra Corps and himself? With a big grin, pretending to be honest, he said unwillingly, Teacher, what are you talking about? Why can't I understand? Seeing him like this, Senju Tobarama couldn't help laughing. It seems that you will never die until you reach the Yellow River, you bastard. He took out a blank piece of paper, picked up a pen and wrote three large characters on it. Danzo looked at the three words and read them unconsciously, with an embarrassed yet polite expression on his face. Mercenary Regiment. Hey, teacher, you still know. Seeing that he finally admitted, Tobarama nodded, picked up the pen and tapped Donzo's hand on the table, and said angrily. HMPH, you kid, I grew up watching you, and I know what you little fox is going to do when you stick your ass up. After finishing speaking, he paused, have you thought about it yet? How to arrange your secret forces? Hearing the teacher's question, Danzo walked to the window and looked out the window at the big leafy tree and the roots buried under the big tree. He stretched out his hand to take a green leaf blown nearby by the breeze, stared at it and said slowly. I will transfer some people from the mercenary group into the new department. It's better to let the mercenary group continue to exist, at least with them, it is impossible for other mice in the gutter to get a foot in the shadow of the country of fire. The name of the new department, let's call it Root. Hearing Donzo's answer, Senshu Tobarama nodded in satisfaction. This is also the best solution he came up with. After carefully savoring the meaning of the name, he said. It's a good name. Does it symbolize the secret protection of the roots of the big tree called Konoha? Someone has to do something in the shadows, and that's the mission of General. Throwing the leaf away, I saw it fluttering and falling to the bottom of the big tree, mixed with the soil, and became the nutrient for the roots. After Danzo came back from the teacher, he walked straight to the Anbu building. Ambu's headquarters is near the Hokage building. This is also for the sake of any accidents in the Hokage. Anbu can be dispatched immediately. Although this kind of situation rarely happens, it is not guaranteed that there will be an example like Sandai K's cage. The shadow of a majestic village, even if it is said to be gone, it is simply a joke in the world. Before he knew it, he had already reached Anbu's lounge. Captain Danzo. Boss Danzo. As soon as he entered, a large group of people surrounded him. Among them, there were many powerful ninjas. These were all the direct subordinates of Danzo in Anbu. After a short glance, Danzo jumped onto the table so that everyone could see him. Dear colleagues, Hokage has ordered me to set up a new department, and its name is Root. Seeing that everyone below was staring at him intently, Danzo took a deep breath and spoke again. 
There, you will lose everything you once owned, and the only thing accompanying you is the codename. After hearing Donzo's words, the entire Anbu fell into silence. This is obviously a department that is stricter than Anbu, and many people who are not determined retreated. After a while, Mizuki Yuma slowly raised his hand and asked, Danzo-sama, can you tell me what the roots do? Seeing that someone finally spoke to him, Danzo heaved a sigh of relief, tossed his clothes, turned his back to them, and said what he had been thinking for a long time. It's very simple, what others dare not do, we do. Those who others dare not kill, we kill. Cut first and play later, the film rights are licensed, this is the root. In just three sentences, each sentence was richer in murderous intent. By the time he said the last sentence, the murderous intent on Donzo's body had almost condensed into substance. Turning his head suddenly, his aura had reached its peak, and all the elite ninjas in Anbu were shocked back a step. If he's so domineering, who would want to go with him? I will never stop him. A slightly old voice came from the corridor in the lounge. Blah blah. Following the sound of footsteps, a middle-aged man appeared in front of everyone, looking at Danzo with a half-smile. Minister. Everyone present bowed their heads slightly to the middle-aged man and said respectfully. Danzo also jumped off the table. After all, this is his old boss, and he has to be respected to some extent. I saw him nodding his head, as a response to everyone, then went straight to Danzo, looked him up and down, and patted him on the shoulder with a smile. Well, you brat. Lao Capital was thinking of letting you take over my position after I retire. I didn't expect it, I didn't expect it. The next thing is that he should have a headache. He didn't expect to be stabbed in the back by the most respected Hokage, and suddenly transferred away the next head of the Anbu that he was optimistic about. And looking at it like this, this guy Danzo still wants to dig a corner, he knows the reputation of this bastard now, if he wants to take people away, the whole Anbu will probably be half empty. Sure enough, after observing the relationship between the two, the Anbu ninjas walked behind Danzo one after another, which meant that they decided to follow him and cultivate the roots that were just seedlings. Counting them in detail, there are no less than 30 Anbu ninjas. Although Minister Anbu had already made some preparations in his heart, when he saw so many people planning to leave, his heart still twitched severely. These are the backbone of Anbu. This brat really didn't treat himself politely. Looking at the expression on his old boss who was about to lose his temper, Danzo touched the back of his head with one hand, and said with a silly smile, I'm sorry, Minister Senju, I didn't expect myself to be so charming, ha ha ha. Damn it, fuck it, you're good at getting cheap, I'm annoyed when I see you. Hearing Danzo's words, the veins on the forehead of Senshu Minister popped out slightly, his fists crackled, he gave him a blank look, and gritted his teeth and said, if you don't invite labor and management to drink, this matter can't be justified. Drink, drink a big bottle. Danzo laughed and hugged his shoulders, and this time the goal of prying the corner of the wall was overfulfilled. After a while, I will assign a few black shadow generals to some younger brothers who are loyal to me to improve their strength, and I will simply build a general framework at the root. To represent their costumes, choose the flying fish suit, with the embroidered spring knife, it will be called a handsome man. Just before that, he also picked up a lot of white items, among which he remembered a lot of clothing, which just happened to come in handy now. There is also the corresponding Shuchin sword technique. From my own point of view, if several Chunin can cooperate well, they can even use this to kill Jonin. However, there is a limit on the number of people. Otherwise, if the whole Konoha implements it, it will definitely increase the village's combat power to a higher level. Jinyi Night Walk, the root of Konoha. The embroidered spring knife is sharp and cuts all evil spirits. As for the choice of root headquarters address, let it be built underground, right below the Hokage building, with the help of Tudan Ninja, it should be able to complete this task. Who let the root be right under the big tree? Those blood-stained laboratories can also be established now. As a disciple of a scientific research madman, it is reasonable to borrow some of the teacher's scientific researchers. It is not certain when. The human body materials needed for the experiment are also easy to get rid of. After all, the most indispensable thing in this world is human scum. This is also considered waste utilization, isn't it? As a result, Konoha quietly added another super-violent mechanism, which was hidden deep under the big tree, and continuously wiped out the moths entangled in the big tree of Konoha one by one. Boss Danzo, do you really have a way to improve my strength? Mizuki Yuma looked at the black-haired young man in disbelief. He was fed up with the strength that was stuck because of his talent. Although he kept training, his strength was at most in the mid -nin. Even after such a long time of Anbu mission training, at best, he is just an experienced Chunin. 
all of this is very different from his goal when he was young. He will never forget who gave him life-saving bread when he was about to faint from hunger, and helped him find a family willing to adopt him as an orphan, saving his young life. You know, Danzo at that time was already an unattainable ninja for him, but such a person was willing to shine his light on himself like an ant. Since then, he has decided to be a knife in Danzo's hand, to overcome obstacles for him. But his own strength was too weak, even Anbu had to squeeze in with all his might. And Danzo has grown into a powerful man in the ninja world. However, he is just an ordinary chunin, and he never thought that there is a way to improve his long stagnant strength. If the boss says there is a way, then there must be a way. All the thoughts were completed in an instant, and before Danzo could answer, he quickly said, I am willing. Now it was Danzo's turn to be surprised. Didn't expect this little brother didn't ask what method he used, did he trust himself so much? It can only be said that you have taken a long way, young man. Thoughts flashed through his mind, but he didn't say anything, he waved slightly, motioning for him to come to his side, and put one hand on his head. A breeze suddenly appeared in the confined space, blowing Donzo's black hair continuously upwards, a red light flashed in his eyes instantly, and a black air split into two and penetrated into his mind. One of the remaining eight masks flew out and went in with the black air. One of the nine generals of Sombra, the bayonet Lazo is back. After the black energy entered Mizuki Yuma's body, he began to swim crazily, constantly transforming his physical fitness, and suddenly changed from a chunin to a janin, and was still an elite among them. At the same time, several extremely sharp blades protruded from his fingertips, and the length of the blades could be controlled according to his will. Danzo looked at his changes and kept nodding his head. It seems that this is his special ability. Previously, Nia's mask should enhance his brain, and this one is to enhance his melee ability. After an unknown amount of time, Mizuki Yuma slowly opened his eyes, the same red light as Danzo flashed in his eyes, he squeezed his palm, felt the power contained in it, and turned over and knelt down excitedly. From now on, this subordinate is the sharpest knife in the hands of adults. Furukawa, far away in the capital of the Country of Fire, also received a message from Danzo, and a new colleague of himself appeared in his mind. Originally leisurely eating the grapes hand fed by the beautiful little maid, he suddenly turned over and stood up. What? Someone wants to rob me of the title of master's number one minion. I will not bite him to death. I, Giyu Chuanje, am the number one running dog under your lord. The kingdom of shadows. The mental bodies of the two shadow generals met here for the first time. They looked at each other vaguely, complaining in their hearts. This is the human body of the guy with the bayonet lazo. He looks very unhappy, and he is a cold-faced guy. Danzo-sama only needs me alone. Ninja Nia's human body is this middle-aged man. Hey, he looks like a dog. If I was the first to follow Danzo-sama, I would definitely do a better job than him. After a while, the two laughed falsely at the same time, and held each other's hand. It's a pleasure to meet you, you are a newcomer, and you will be a family in the future. Yeah, I still need a lot of care from seniors in the future. After holding it, at the same time, he stretched his hand behind his back and wiped it calmly. There was another silence. Ji Yu Chuanjie grinned and broke the silence, from now on, you should look good and study hard. This is also a piece of advice from my adult confidant. He deliberately emphasized his tone on the confidant. This is a warning from him to this newcomer, to let him understand his position, and to know that he has followed the adults for a long time. Mizuki Yuma's mind moved. There is no fool among those who can be selected by Danzo. Naturally, he understood what this senior really meant to him in his tone. Pretending to be unintentional, he raised his hand and stroked the Konoha forehead, and said with a silly smile. Ha ha ha. Thank you senior for reminding me. I will follow the example of senior and remove all obstacles for that lord as soon as possible. After all, who let me be by the adult side now? When he heard Mizuki Yuma's answer, his heart sank. It seemed that this newcomer was not very obedient, and wanted to compete with him for the place in the hearts of adults. Indeed, Konoha protects the forehead. This newcomer is much closer to the adult than himself. This is his own disadvantage, but this is not the condition for him to challenge himself. Thinking of this, Ji Yu Chuanji's eyes flashed red. You must know that since he joined Danzo, he has always been under one person and above 10,000 people. Even the big names in some countries dare not show their teeth at will. A newcomer may be able to sit on an equal footing in the future, but it is definitely not now. The aura of the superior who had been raised for many years exploded, and countless ninja ghosts appeared behind him, staring at the newcomer in front of him. 
The sudden eruption of the Furukawa world made Mizuki Yuma feel his body stiffen. Although he reacted quickly, it also made him shiver. It seems that this old man is not easy to mess with. The red light in his eyes also flashed, and the claw ninjas got out of the ground one after another, stretched out their claws reflecting the cold light, and stared at the opposite ghost ninjas not to be outdone. The momentum between the two collided, and Mizuki Yuma, who was still a rookie, was quickly defeated. I was still too impulsive, and hurriedly compared with this senior without integrating his power into myself. The claw ninjas behind him appeared with Mizuki Yuma's disadvantage, and they were disillusioned a little bit. After all, they appeared by relying on the willpower of their masters. Finally, when he could no longer hold on to his half-kneeling, the stalemate suddenly broke down. After seeing this rebellious newcomer finally fall down, Giyu Chuanje couldn't help laughing. Ha 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 ha, you are still immature, rookie. This time it was another day of successfully defending your position. I, Giyu Chuanje, will not fall for a day, and you and other coquettish bastards will always be scum who can't be ranked. Just wait, I will prove that I am better than you. Mizuki Yuma, who was half kneeling on the ground, stood up staggeringly, gritted his teeth and said unwillingly. I'm going to wait for the day when it's just not possible. After leaving this sentence, he slowly faded and disappeared in the dark world. Sure enough, only competition has pressure. Otherwise, this guy Giyu Chuanje would play with girls all day long, and he would want to hit someone when he saw it. Danzo, who had been diving and watching the two, couldn't help criticizing in his heart. Sitting in the restaurant box, eating the fruit fed by the girl while watching the dancer's performance. I didn't expect this dance to be quite beautiful, it seems that there will be more in the future. Danzo stroked his chin and thought, just when the performance came to the most exciting part, he stopped what he was doing and his eyes lit up. Good job, rewarded. A, -a time flies, in these two years. Danzo is at home, Roots, and Konoha Academy every day. There are basically no tasks that require him to go out of the village to perform tasks, except for some particularly difficult bones. If there is any big change in the village, the Konoha Academy has officially changed its name to Ninja School. The military and internal affairs departments have been added, and the goal is to mainly train combat ninjas. However, under the strong request of Danzo, the training direction of medical ninja was added. Although Konoha's high-level officials don't understand it very well, because due to the limitations of the times, they don't understand how important this type of ninja is to the battlefield. But who made Danzo have been promoted to the director of the teaching department? This power is still there. Under his single-handed promotion, Konoha's first batch of medical ninja seedlings entered systematic study, including Orochimaru and Tsunade who had planned to apply for early graduation. The two of them were very interested in this novel type of ninja, and of course Jiraiya stayed with them for an extra year, which also made the trio of them not out of touch with the original students of Matt Day's class. Otherwise, based on the knowledge that Danzo instilled in them early, graduating early is a certainty. Now, they have almost learned what the school can learn. It is also time to decide who will be the teacher to take them to this class. As for the teacher leading the class of my little princess, Senju Tobarama naturally had to choose carefully. Now a few candidates have been initially selected. Pull out the chair and take out three photos from the drawer. They are Akamichi Tekazi, Serutobi Hirazane, and Shimura Danzo. Among them, Hirazan Serutobi had come to his office and hinted many times overtly and secretly that he wanted to play this role. Akamichi Takafu didn't say anything. For him, the most important thing is food, and since Danzo opened a custom snack street in Konoha, he spends there all day except for necessary tasks. Has become an old regular. That short street contains most of the delicacies in the ninja world, making Akamichi's body weight so long that it is called. If it weren't for his Chu Daoist's butterfly transformation technique, he would have to sew this guy's mouth shut. Don't ask Tobarama why he knows this, his protruding belly has already betrayed everything. Shaking his head, his eyes kept wandering over the photos of the three of them. So, who should you choose? The pen in his hand couldn't help turning faster and faster. I want you to come here this time, mainly for the guidance of the new graduates in the allocation of ninja. Senshu Tobarama said to the three of Danzo who were in the office with a serious face. You should all know how talented this year's students are, especially Xiao Gang from my family. He also needs a teacher. Speaking of this, the corners of Feijan's mouth couldn't help but twitch. It's not that he is happy for Tsunade, but now that Konoha has so many talented seedlings emerging in his hands, these people are the trunks that will support the big tree of Konoha in the future. As for the kid from Hitaki's family, his talent is really good, 
and his sword technique has a bit of the charm of Danzo before. It is said that he is targeting his stupid apprentice. Not to mention Tsunade and Orochimaru, the absolute mainstay of Konoha in the future. Even mate Dai and Jiraiya, who seem to be at the end of the crane, can see the shining points hidden in them, so the choice of the teacher is definitely the top priority. But you must not misrepresent the original good seedlings. As soon as he came back to his senses, Chu Dao took the wind and walked forward. He felt a little surprised when he saw Fajian. It's rare. This kid usually shirks when he can. How can he be so active this time? I just wanted to nod my head to encourage. He said with a silly smile on his face. Hey, Hokage-sama, teaching apprentices or something is not suitable for me at all, can you? Seeing his appearance, the movements of Senju Tobarama froze immediately, and a circle of black lines appeared on his forehead, as expected, he shouldn't have any expectations of him, this lazy guy. But at least he understood his temperament, took a deep breath, nodded, you go and stand aside first. After hearing his words, Chu Dao took the wind and ran to the corner of the wall, sneakily took out a bag of potato chips, and ate it with a click. Ignoring his voice, Tobuma looked at the two of them with his chin propped on his hand, then what do you two think? Hirazin Serutobi glanced at Danzo next to him, gritted his teeth and took a step forward. Becoming the teacher of the Tsunade class represented the support of the Senju clan in the future, and he must not miss it. I, Serutobi Hirazin is bound to win. Tama sensei I think I am qualified for this position. Hearing his words, Tobuma didn't make a choice right away, but looked at Danzo beside him and asked, What do you think of Danzo? Hearing the teacher ask Danzo, Serutobi Hirazin couldn't help but clench his fist slightly, his face was still calm, and he couldn't help roaring in his heart. Why? Why do I ask Shimura Danzo every time, I don't accept it, I am the best. Although he is an excellent choice, Danzo is obviously better. If he wants to fight, there is nothing wrong with the monkey. Danzo stood there thinking for a while, and just wanted to speak. Bang. The door of the office suddenly opened, and three small figures rolled directly into the office, overlapping each other. It was Tsunade, Jiraiya and Orochimaru. Tsunade held up her hands, stood up directly, lifted the two little friends who were still dizzy from her body, and said loudly to the door. I want big brother Danzo to be a teacher, not Uncle Haraku. Hearing Tsunade's words, Orochimaru and Jiraiya also stood up and kept nodding their little heads. Their words made Rizan standing there awkwardly, feeling a little annoyed in his heart, but he couldn't show it. Danzo directly squatted up and took them into his arms, scolding with a smile. You three little guys are really worrying. Seeing the interaction between the four of them, Senju Tobarama laughed directly, and said, It seems that you have already made your choice, but Xiaogang, isn't it good for you to come into my office like this? Slightly slightly slightly, second grandpa, I want brother Danzo. Otherwise, I'll pull out all your hair. Tsunade turned his head and made a grimace directly at Tobarama, and then, viciously, squeezed his small fist to threaten. Okay, Danzo, what's your answer? Looking at his beloved little princess, he really couldn't do anything to her, so he turned his head and asked Danzo, his choice is the most important. For a moment, everyone in the office looked at Danzo together, waiting for his final answer. Feeling the expectant eyes of the three little ones in front of him, Danzo smiled slightly, raised his head and said to Fajian. Well, then let me take charge. Great, as Danzo's words fell, the three little ones cheered happily, jumped up, and played on him. Even the deserted Orochimaru laughed from the bottom of his heart at this moment. Hearing their voices in Senshaobanjian, he smiled and shook his head, picked up a pen and wrote Danzo's name on the class list. Now the Tsunade class instructor Jonin is confirmed. Everyone was watching their play with a smile, only Serutobi Hirazan's eyes were slightly red, this time it was not his turn again, obviously it was just a little short. I will definitely be back. The first class, Hanada Kays, Yi, Weeby Bird. Guiding Jonin, Chijuda. The second class, Hitaki Sakumo, Matt Dai, Baijiwa. Instructing Jonin, Serutobi Hiruza. The third class, Kato Duan, Hong Chengye, Sasu Retsu. Guide to Jonin, the wind of the autumn path. Class 7, Tsunade, Jiraiya, Orochimaru. Guiding Jonin, Danzo Shimura. After dividing all the ninja classes, Senju Tobarama sent Anbu to hand over the list to the corresponding ninjas. As for the lazy Chudao Kyufeng who came to the door and cried, he just pretended that he couldn't see it, and ignored this guy's wailing. Just kidding, if you still want to be lazy under my nose, you are probably thinking about eating. After Tokaima sorted out all the documents, the weather outside was already approaching dusk. 
He stood up, stretched his waist, and patted his stomach. Looks like I'm still hungry. After walking out of the Hokage building, he used the transformation technique with ease and ran towards the snack street. After a while, we arrived at the brightly lit snack street, where countless food stalls set up, and the crowd was bustling, very lively. Smelling the incomparably tempting aroma of food, Qianshu licked his lips, and the thought of losing weight in his heart was suppressed by countless reasons. What to lose weight? There are three bans on ninjas, but there is no ban on food. It's simply impossible for Danzo to do this, and it makes many Konoha residents fat. HMPH, traitor. He criticized in his heart while looking at the grilled fish that was grilled to a golden brown by the stall owner. Hey, boss, add more spice, don't burn it. Okay, my brother is a regular customer, don't worry. A bright morning. Inside the ninja school. I really don't know who our class teacher is. That's it. Hope is a handsome and powerful teacher. In the class at this time, a group of ninja school graduates who passed the graduation exam gathered in small groups to discuss the teacher candidates to lead them. Hitaki Sakumo wiped the dagger in his hand, only thinking of that man in his heart, he had the honor to see his sword technique once, the blade was bright, and it was the path he wanted to follow in the future. It is also possible to pass on the sword skills of the Hitaki family. He has already explored some ways to use chakra to strengthen the sword skills. It will definitely make Hitaki, who was once a samurai family, once again famous in the ninja world. Before the teacher comes, do 500 handstand push-ups. After the teacher comes, if you don't finish it, you will run around the village for 10 villages. An energetic voice came from the corner of the classroom. Matt Dai turned over and turned himself upside down, doing push-ups. For him, he already has the training manual given by Danzo, so he doesn't have to worry too much about the teacher. After all, not everyone's physical skills are so powerful. From time to time, Kato looked at Tsunade who was sitting in the middle of the classroom, joking with his two friends. As Tsunade and the other three already knew the result, they didn't care too much, and sat relaxed in their seats. As time passed, the lively classroom gradually became empty, and most of the students were led away by their teachers. The second-class students come with me. Wearing a ninja vest, Hiruza Serutobi pushed open the closed classroom door, and shouted at the remaining students inside with a list. For this class, he is quite happy, and Hitaki Sakumo's talent is one of the best among the students in this class. It should also be a kind of compensation from Tobima to him. Apparently it wasn't that man. Putting the dagger back into its scabbard, Hitaki Sakumo sighed inwardly, and stood up silently. Matt Dai wiped off his sweat, still full of energy. Only Tsunade and the others were left in the huge classroom. No way, brother Danzo is so slow. Jiraiya was complaining, when a hearty voice came, and Danzo appeared at the window with a smile on his lips, touching the back of his head. Sorry, a black cat made me lose my way in life. Brother Danzo, you're late, but why don't you walk through the door? Get used to it, get used to it. Hearing what they said, Danzo was slightly stunned, looked at the door, jumped down from the window, patted the three of them on the head, and waved their hands. I'm so familiar, so I don't need to introduce myself, let's go, I'll take you to eat barbecue. The three people who were already very hungry cheered, forgetting the little unhappiness just now. Great. One big and three small ones walked out of the school gate laughing all the way. On the occasion of parting, Dashimaru turned his head and looked at the place where he had lived for several years, with some reluctance. Does leaving here mean that I will start to learn to shelter others from the wind and rain in the future, and I will no longer be a seedling that needs protection? Oshimaru, what are you doing in a daze, why don't you catch up quickly? Danzo, who was walking in front, saw Dashimaru standing at the school gate, not knowing what he was looking at, so he waved to him quickly. Coming. Shaking his head, he threw away all those thoughts, what the hell, as long as there is this man in front of him, then he will always be the seedling he protects. Danzo has used countless choices and scars to prove the reliability of his will of fire. Yo, here we come again, Danzo-sama. The owner of the barbecue shop looked at Danzo who walked into the store and immediately greeted them familiarly, and quickly asked them to sit down. My lord, are you going to eat this time? Danzo looked at Tsunade and the others who brought them here, hesitated a little, and saved some face in front of the junior. It's enough to be full for five minutes. A group of people came to a special box, which was obviously much larger than other places in both height and width. After entering inside, he summoned Toothless Boy familiarly, and pulled the three of them to sit down together. Toothless Boy has now reached adulthood, and his body is covered in scales, which are impenetrable even for elite Junin attacks. 
his wingspan can reach 18 meters, and his body is nearly meters long. Majestic and majestic, he has the demeanor of a dragon king in the true sense, if those big Kazilon eyes are not square. After a while, carts were pushed in one after another, filled with half-finished fish. That's too much, brother Danzo. G. Leo looked at the pile of food that could already be called a hill, and swallowed slightly. Are these really human appetites? Thinking too much, this is for toothless boy, ours is behind. Call. Hearing Danzo's answer, Orochimaru and the others just wanted to breathe a sigh of relief. And a large group of carts came from behind, filling up the long tables with sumptuous food. Danzo picked up the chopsticks, his eyes glowed, and his saliva was secreted crazily. After turning his head in a hurry and saying something to the three of them, he quickly put down his chopsticks. Okay, this is ours, let's start. I am afraid that such an amount will be higher than that pile. Just looking at it is enough. Zillai also complained frantically in his heart. But they just woke up like a dream when they saw the terrifying mountain of delicious food getting into this dragon's belly like a bubble. If you don't eat it quickly, they will probably finish it. Why did Danzo's stomach not bulge at all after eating so much? Tsunade looked at Danzo and was extremely envious. Now her meat has not gone where it should go. Coupled with the increase in the variety of delicacies in the village, her weight is skyrocketing. As the last piece of meat was swallowed by Danzo, he licked his lips unsatisfied, but this time he didn't enjoy eating to the fullest. Seeing the three people around him looking at him with faces of aliens, Danzo lowered his head and looked at his clothes. It was strange that there was nothing there. Aren't you three little guys interested in the food in this store? The taste is still pretty good, how about a million more? No, no, brother Danzo, we are full. Hearing his words, the three of them shook their heads like a rattle. It's not necessary, watching you eat, I wonder if you will eat up all these children on a whim. A group of Uchihas in police uniforms patrols the streets. Different from other Uchiha people, this team of guards always has a warm smile on their faces when they handle the villagers' chores. It was Uchiha Kagami who led the team. Auntie, be careful when crossing the road. A hand on the shoulder of an elderly granny after helping him across the road. Who? Uchiha was startled, with his current strength, someone could approach him quietly, and he couldn't help but shouted. At the same time, with the nerves honed on the battlefield, subconsciously relied on the fighting instinct to counter the opponent. With a charged punch, he hit the person who came. Hey, hey, what do you guys want to do? The man used ingenuity to easily dissipate the strength of his fist and let out a sound. This voice made Uchiha Kagami slightly stunned, and turned around in surprise, and sure enough, it was a familiar figure. Brother Danzo, you almost scared me to death. The security team scattered all over the street originally heard the shouts of their deputy ministers and ran to check, but when they saw that it was Danzo, they left consciously. Danzo's face is now Konoha's iconic face value, ranking first on the list of handsome Konoha guys ranked by some good people. The previous number one face value was Senshu Tobarama. It's just that now that he's older and his face is inevitably aging, he has also retreated. He looked around Uchiha Kagami, and lightly punched his chest. Yo, Jing, you guys are finally willing to join the guard. Well, this, brother Danzo, isn't this hee hee. Seeing the expression on his face, I understood it instantly, and directly grabbed his shoulder. Unexpectedly, you are the first of us with thick eyebrows and big eyes. Come on, when will you get married? At this moment, Danzo's eyes were ignited with excitement and gossip. And Uchiha Kagami, a man with a height of seven feet, blushed strangely, and said shyly. At the end of this year, I decided to stay with her in Konoha from now on. I didn't feel the feeling of caring before, so now I can't take risks casually. Ha, you are really enviable. Danzo nodded when he heard the arrangement of his close friend. Compared with the ninjas who went out on missions, the security team was much safer. With his strength, it is basically absolutely safe. Brother Danzo, what are you doing here? Uchiha Kagami also asked why he appeared here, knowing that his elder brother can't usually see him. Me? I took Tsunade and those three little guys to do those D-level missions. Danzo knocked the melon seeds in his pocket, and Uchiha looked around, but he didn't find the three people he mentioned, so he couldn't help asking. Then where are the three of them? Danzo spit out the melon seed shell on the newly summoned shadow avatar, and handed a handful of melon seeds to Uchiha Kagami with the other hand. Of course it is carried with the shadow clone, anyway, they can't see it. When you can see it, you can be a teacher. The shadow clone on the side looked at the main body resentfully, which really made the best use of everything. Hey, Tui, Shimura is skinny. People's Chianshu is still oppressing others, 
but it's better for you to directly oppress the shadow clone. Listening to what Danzo said, Uchiha Kagami's eyes became brighter and brighter, as if opening the door to a new world. It turns out that the shadow clone can still be used in this way. It's really too bad to treat them as human beings, but why does it feel pretty good? Strange why I think so. Was it broken by someone? Danzo? Kagami? While the two were talking, another familiar voice came from behind, and the two turned their heads together. It was Serutobi Hirazan in the second squad he was leading. It's Rizai, ha ha ha. Danzo greeted the visitor happily. Danzo sama, Kagami sama. Asterisk 3 When Hitaki Sakumo approached, he couldn't help but put his hand on the short knife pinned to his waist, his eyes flashed with fighting intent, he already felt the soaring sword intent from Danzo. With Danzo's perception, he naturally felt the eyes of the little guy in front of him, and couldn't help but smile. His courage is commendable, but a swordsman also needs to have a belief in cutting everything. Otherwise, you will never be able to become a real swordsman. Ah, my burning youth. Danzo Sama, the moves you gave me in the handbook are too difficult. I have practiced the moves for a long time before I can master the first move. Matt Daya looked at Danzo full of fighting spirit, and he wanted to show off his training results. Hirazin Serutobi looked at the strange kid in the class with some surprise, but he didn't expect that the strange moves he practiced every day were given by Danzo. Although it is very good, why do I always feel that my head has a little fragrance of grass? Hearing his words, Danzo was taken aback, because the manual given to him didn't seem to have any moves written. Oh, by the way, I remembered, I was bored in that book before and tried to adapt the Navy Six styles into a ninja version. In the end, although it can barely be said to be a success, the conditions for the practitioners required are too strict. Few people in the ninja world can complete the goal, so they are left behind by Danzo. It was completed by Matt Dai. Bai Dihuo had read the manual and tried it, but his whole body was sore after just one day of practice. He looked at Matt Dai who had already practiced successfully. Could it be that shaving his hair into a watermelon head is good for physical training? He stroked his hair, lost in thought. Danzo-sama, I'll show you this, shave. Matt Dai stomped on the ground with both feet and ejected himself in an instant. Hitaki Sakumo and Momoji Kaoru beside him couldn't see his current speed clearly, so they gasped, this kid is so terrifying. The other three people present could naturally see Maitadei's fast figure. This speed already has the speed of Chunin, and he has already taken a step ahead of his peers. Bang. A large cloud of dust floated up on the wall in the distance, and Danzo couldn't help but twitch his mouth as he looked at the gravel around him. I remember it hurt like that before. This is youth. Matt Dai staggered and turned his head, showing his bruised face, raised his thumb, smiled at everyone with his big teeth, and then fell down. Danzo and Uchiha Kagami glanced at each other, then looked at Hirazan Serutobi, with deep inquiry in his eyes. Has he always been this brave? After the people sent the injured Matt Dai to the hospital, they chatted along the corridor. After a while, Matt came out with a bandage and a cane. Is it so fast? Hirazan Serutobi looked at him and asked, after all, he was also his student, even though he was so stubborn. Don't worry, teacher Rizan, I've been familiar with this doctor for a long time, I always look for him every time I come here, his skills are very good. This youth with pain, senior Danzo, how am I doing? Matt Dai waved his hand indifferently, and asked expectantly. This one, Danzo stroked his chin, wondering if he should tell him the truth, he really didn't expect that Matt Dai could practice the sixth naval style. Although he still doesn't look very proficient, it also means that he is definitely a genius in physical arts, comparable to himself with the physique of a pirate. If the seven ninja swordsmen were kicked to death by him in the future, wouldn't it be that there would be no auspicious three treasures? When all of them have been practiced, and even comprehend the six kings pow, they can definitely rely on it to move freely in the ninja world, and maybe they can also rely on the return of life to reduce the damage caused by the eight door dungia. This is very feasible. My heart skipped a beat, let's just lie to the end. You practiced well, even worse than I did back then. Danzo raised his head slightly and stood with his hands behind his back, posing as a master. Matt Dai nodded, threw the crutch away, and flames of struggle burst out of his eyes. Yes, Danzo-sama, I will redouble my efforts. When I met the watermelon-headed kid in front of me, it was as if he had been beaten by what I said. Hurrying to stop him from going to the training ground, and going to training while limping, this kind of will is really strong, and it should be the reason why he can practice the Navy Six styles. In fact, the requirements for the Six styles adapted by Danzo are both simple and difficult to say. Absolute physical talent too, far beyond the willpower of ordinary people. 
these two short requirements have stuck 90.00% of the people in the ninja world. Senior Danzo, can you come with me to a battle between swordsmen? Just as the group walked out of the hospital, Hitaki Sakumo walked up to Danzo and bowed deeply. He really wanted to see the powerful swordsmanship. Sakumo, what nonsense are you talking about? Hiruzen Serutobi asked with a strange expression. Danzo's sword skills have been seen since he was a child, and he fights with him every now and then. Every time he is beaten to pieces by his exquisite sword skills, what's even more terrifying is that after each battle, his strength will improve a little. At the beginning, I was able to catch his saber technique, but later on I couldn't even touch the shadow of his saber. He can only rely on the ape demon's golden cudgel to hold on. Later, the ape demon was beaten to autism, although he couldn't cut it badly, but it hurt. The ghost knows what Donzo's bloodstained limit is, and it seems to have a defense-breaking effect when attached to the knife. Looking at the future ninja Hakuba in front of him, a real ninja who is famous for his sword skills, Danzo nodded. He also wanted to see Hitaki's sword skills. This is also helpful to him. Dao practice is to be inclusive of all rivers, and constantly absorb the advantages of other people's sword skills to improve oneself. Hichi, you don't understand. This is a challenge from a swordsman. Danzo pushed Serutobi Hiruzen away with a serious face, and nodded. Sakumo Hitaki, I accept. Hearing Danzo's affirmative answer, he was overjoyed and bowed again, thank you, senior. Touching the short knife pinned to his waist, he was extremely excited, and his high fighting spirit infected everyone, except Serutobi Hiruzen, because he thought of the scene of the first confrontation with Danzo. He was so excited back then, and then the faint feeling of that part made a liver color appear on his face. Danzo, who was walking in front, suddenly thought that it seemed that the thousand-year killing technique seemed to be the killing move created by the white hair behind him. So if I return it to him, does it count as returning it to the original owner? At this moment, Hitaki Sakumo, whose blood was boiling with excitement, only felt a chill gradually spread to his whole body. But I couldn't feel where this inexplicable chill came from. I can only continue to follow Danzo to bite the bullet and go to the training ground used for the battle. The duel he mentioned, even if he was kneeling, he had to finish it. Trigger task, task name, inheritance of master and apprentice. Using Konoha body art mystery millennium killing in battle, let its creators experience its unique charm firsthand. Task reward, 10,000 points, I'm sorry, Sakumo. With this point, you can draw prizes again, for Danzo, whose face is extremely dark, this is the ultimate temptation. The fighting spirit in his body suddenly rose, and his fingers rubbed unconsciously. Seal of opposition. Two people, one big and one small, pulled out their knives at the same time, with the tip of the knives pointing down. The white knives and the black knives showed a sharp contrast at this time. Hitaki Sakumo was the first to draw his sword. If he didn't make a move now, then he might not have the chance to make another move. The white sword was shining with the brilliance of the sun, trying to influence the enemy's sight, and the blade slashed towards Danzo with the sound of the wind. Danzo, on the other hand, closed his eyes slowly, as if he didn't notice anything, which made Hitaki Sakumo involuntarily withdraw some strength. Don't underestimate any of your opponents. A sentence floated gently into his ears, although Danzo closed his eyes, he slashed at him who was rushing with his knife with great accuracy. An inch is long and an inch is strong. If his short knife can't get close to Danzo, then it is useless. Treat the knife in your hand as an extension of your hand, not just as a tool. Following a flash of light from the sword, a scratch appeared on the sleeve of Hitaki Sakumo's hand holding the sword. Damn. He continued to show off all the Hitaki sword techniques he had learned, and Danzo kept nodding his head with his exquisite moves. As expected of the Hitaki family of the samurai family, the level of sophistication of the sword is extremely good, and there is something worth learning. If you have practiced the sword to this level, you can learn almost everything you can learn after reading it once. Danzo disassembled the moves in his mind and integrated them into his own sword moves. After seeing the shadow of his own Hitaki's family in Danzo's sword moves, Hitaki Sakumo's sword skills gradually became disorganized, and his heart was opposite to this. Your heart is messed up. A slash knocked Hitaki Sakumo down. He lay on the ground and took deep breaths to adjust the energy he had expended. As the physical fitness slowly recovered, what Danzo just said appeared in his mind. The knife is an extension of the body repeatedly chewing on what Danzo said, he fell into thinking. It turned out that he was on the wrong path, and he didn't seriously appreciate the breathing of the short knife in his hand. I understand. Hitaki Sakumo shouted with glowing eyes, struggled to stand up, and charged forward again with the dagger. Now that I understand, 
I can use that trick too. Putting the knife back into the scabbard, Danzo couldn't help but smile. Holding a tiger print. Standing outside the arena, Serutobi Hirazan looked at this familiar scene and quickly shouted, Danzo, stop, he's still a child. In the blink of an eye, Hitaki Sakumo, who was still smiling, appeared behind him. Move forward slowly and firmly. A shrill voice sounded over the training ground. What? Why are you here again? The staff who had just sent Danzo and others out of the hospital looked at the group of people who had gone and returned, and asked with a strange expression. He is not a few people who really use the hospital as a clothing store. Do I still have to say, welcome next time, to them? But seeing that Danzo and others ignored him at all, they quickly sent Sakumo Hitaki, who was pouting his buttocks. This posture. His eyes became more and more mysterious as the group of people went away. The lad is all right, but how did he do it? After the doctor took off the glove, he threw it into the medical trash can in disgust, then turned his head and asked what he had been wanting to ask after seeing the wound. Such an injury cannot be caused by ordinary people. Very valuable for reference. Squeak. After the door of the doctor's office was opened, another limping figure came out. His face was pale, and he was covering the injured area with one hand, while the other hand was leaning on the wall. Hey hey, Shuo Mao, now you are like me. Matt Dai looked at Sakumo Hitaki's appearance, and smiled happily while leaning on a cane with one hand. Get out, he forced himself up and scolded this gloating guy. Feeling the constant pain from the wound, my heart is still trembling. The power of this technique is too great. It can definitely make the enemy lose willpower in an instant, and passively withstand the next enemy attack. No matter who it is, the face of this technique will change face. This is his first experience as a person who has experienced it firsthand. It is simply his dream art. He has always had vague ideas about this technique in his mind, but he didn't expect to see the finished product here in Danzo. Senior. I want to learn. Looking at Danzo Shimura standing with his arms folded in his eyes with burning eyes, he must learn it no matter what he says. Danzo looked at Hitaki Sakumo's obviously different eyes, and silently took half a step back, thinking that he wouldn't stimulate his hidden attributes. That is to say, how can a person who can create such a technique be an ordinary person? To say the least, he is also a sixth child. Thinking of this possibility, even if Danzo is powerful, he silently backs off half a step, he is not good at this. Fighting spirit was ignited in Hitaki Sakumo's eyes, he gritted his teeth and endured the pain and walked towards Danzo. Seeing Sakumo Hitaki getting closer, he also backed away slowly, until he felt a cold touch behind his back, and his heart trembled. It's over, there's no way out. Reluctantly calming down, Danzo looked at him in front of him calmly, and said with difficulty, Saku Sakumo, if you have something to say, let's talk about it, me. Danzo Sama, please be respected by Sakumo, and be sure to teach me this technique. I don't know why, but when I heard the words of the white haired kid in front of me, I always felt a chill behind my back. I seem to remember that a certain strong man with Fang Tien's painting halberd said similar words. But after much deliberation, it's hard to refuse, after all, I just made him like this, so I reluctantly nodded and agreed. Counting the points just obtained, Danzo suddenly felt unable to bear his desire to draw a lottery, and couldn't move his eyes away from the interface of the lottery draw. A total of about 20 points, points are used as points for summoning the shadow core, and the rest are all studs. Hey, I really don't believe it. I have such a dark face. If I am black to the extreme, I am white. If I am extremely black, I am Europe. No matter how bad your luck is, you should have reached the bottom of the valley. The turntable that symbolized fate began to spin rapidly, and the points gathered into a torrent pouring into the pointer of the turntable. Items of various colors flew out one by one, and they were all placed in front of Danzo. Gray gray gray. A large group of gray cards is just like someone's complexion at this time. The original smile on his face has disappeared. Now, there is only the last ten consecutive draws left. How many times he endured the desire to draw the lottery to get the points, whether it is life or death, this time. According to the old rules, all those low-level items are directly separated. Excited heart, trembling hands, he only wants a miracle in his heart, facing a lot of gray and green, he really can't be happy. All ten cards are unfolded. Suddenly, a touch of gold seemed to appear in front of his eyes. Danzo suddenly widened his eyes. This, could this be the legendary golden legend? Is this something that should be in the lottery pool? Did the system drink fake alcohol? With trembling fingers, he opened the shining card, and saw the card slowly flipping open. Countless knives of various shapes rushed out of the interface, showing their power in the sky, 
and the world seemed to be submerged by this terrifying power, and then everything returned to nothingness. Only an ordinary looking samurai sword remained on the card. Zanpakuto Ashoka. It is built on the soul of the god of death himself. The god of death gains power by knowing the name of the Zanpakuto given to him and having a spiritual dialogue with it. The wooden knife on Donzo's waist kept vibrating, flew up suddenly, and rushed into the card. The complete card burst into countless fragments and merged into the wooden knife that already had some signs of a black knife. Ha 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 ha. Let me just say, how could my Donzo's luck be so bad, wouldn't this be a gold withdrawal? After the modification of the wooden knife was completed and it fell into his hands again, Danzo finally couldn't help laughing out loud. It was difficult for him. After so many years, he finally got a golden color. He thought the gold color on the turntable was just for fooling people, but now he finally stood up and sang. I really didn't expect that my first golden legend would be this, Zanpakuto, but it was still in the initial state, and there was no way to start or swastika it. But it should be possible in the future. Flowers in the kagami, moon in the water, thousand cherry blossoms, sharp spear, flowing blade like fire. Danzo couldn't help drooling when he thought of the various Zanpakuto powers he saw just now. When the power of this Zanpakuto is fully awakened, it won't be pain who comes to carry a bag of rice several floors, let alone Uchiha Madara. Then turn over the guaranteed blue items. Mama of fruit. Eating this fruit can transform into an animal fruit a common species a cat state, no obvious weakness. Intermediate recovery potion. While healing physical injuries, it will slowly restore energy in the body. Felix elixir. Comes from the world of Harry Potter, it can improve your luck a little within 12 hours, and maybe let you experience the treatment of a child of a plane. Useless for lottery. Donzo's eyes lit up when he saw the bliss elixir, thinking that he could use the lottery to get rid of bugs, but he didn't expect that this system was really ghostly and ghostly, blocking his way.